Hi, I'm Don Vanderjack, and welcome back to my one stall workshop. It's been a while. As you can see, my shop is a big mess, but that's not a bad sign, that's a good sign. That means we've got a project going and we're having fun. And uh, it's actually, the project is a sign. So, let's get into the details. So I have a new project. Some friends of mine asked, asked me to carve a sign for them. And the reason behind the sign is very personal. So we won't get into that. But we'll just say it's a very special sign. So the sign will be outside. So I needed to get make sure the wood would be working the elements. So I picked up some Spanish cedar, um, mostly because it had a nice tight grain. It was very consistent. It's weather resistant. It can handle temperature and humidity um, swings. Uh, and it will be subjected to a minus 20 degree Fahrenheit to 100 degrees with 100% humidity. Um, we're talking Michigan, of course. So this will work out very well for that. So it will not be directly in the elements. It'll be covered and not in direct sunlight, but it will be exposed to the temperature swing. So we just needed to make sure we have that covered, which I believe we have. Um, as far as the design of this, obviously it's a barn. And the subject matter here, the Milk House 3, um, the reason it's set the way it is, the, the, if you've ever drawn a perspective drawing, you know that the objects that are closest to you are the largest or the wide and the widest. The objects that are furthest away are smaller and they're inset towards the phantom, the vanishing point, as they call it. So that's why the and three are smaller and inset, inset to give milk house more dominance and perspective. Plus it also obeys the rules of thirds, which puts objects in one third increments of the total picture, which is kind of a photography thing, but it gives it more interest and, you're, and it's more appealing to the eye. I know it sounds all artsy and it's contrary to my engineering thought processes, but it's a reality, so that's why we want to put it in there so it's easy to read. And the third element here is the font. And that was sort of a compromise because while you want a sign to be looked at and in, in instantly read, um, there's certain fonts that are good for that, like Pica and Helvetica. This is sort of a compromise to that because it best suits the subject. So I think it reads easy based on the other perspective elements. So anyways, way too much detail. Let's get it printed out and we'll get it transferred onto the wood so we can start carving this thing. So what we have here is some Spanish cedar, it's called. And uh, to make this sign the size that we need it to be, we're going to need to glue up two pieces. So make sure that these joints are absolutely perfect. I'm going to put them together, sort of in a match book style here, and plane them, hand plane those together. So these, regardless of what angles, they're complementary. And when we lay it up, the glue joint will be absolutely perfect. So, because um, we don't want, you know, this is going to be in the, right down the center of a sign. We don't want any defects to show up there. And that glue joint will, needs to be perfect. And this 
is, uh, this stuff smells really, it's got a really sweet smell to it. It's, and um, it's, a, it's very popular for humidors and for cigars and uh, jewelry boxes. Just the drawers because of that nice, very subtle scent. Alright, so. These corners are extremely sharp, but they should come together very nicely. And let's see how we did here. And oh yeah, that will be that will be perfect. So would end up looking. Um, I think I'm a little worried about are these, you know, with this grain direction, this is going to be kind of a weak corner. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is um, getting some CA glue into that. So that's not so fragile. A little corner there. I don't know, I'm going to have to think about that one. Um, but other than that, um, you know, the characters came out pretty good. Um, a lot of work with old old little templates and straight edges and just good old fashioned hand tracing. So, um, yeah, looks pretty decent. I think it's going to work out okay. So. Thank you. 